Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Maynard. I am one of the two most recent graduates from the IU Fellowship Program, having just completed the fellowship in July. Now I am on faculty at the University of Colorado in Denver. Uh, I want to share just a few thoughts on why I think the fellowship at IU is the best in the country and you should come here. Um, I chose IU because I, I wanted the most comprehensive and diverse training experience that I could get. Um, and that's really the approach that the attendings at IU take to pediatric ophthalmology. They keep everything in-house. They manage the vast majority of, of every kind of eye disease themselves. And so when you're in clinic and you're in the OR with the various attendings, you're doing everything from plastics to glaucoma, cataracts, strabismus, retina, you know, you name it um, and you get experience in it. And then when you leave at the end of fellowship, you feel really comfortable managing all those conditions yourself. Um, this makes you really marketable from a job perspective when you're um, out looking for for opportunities and people ask you, you know, can you do this for us? Can you do this for us? The answer for you is yes. Um, and that's a really nice position to be in. Um, one of the nice things about the fellowship as well is the kind of pseudo private practice experience you get by going to the Spring Mill location, which is in the north suburbs um, of Indianapolis. It's a multi subspecialty clinic that a lot of IU faculty go to. It has its own outpatient surgery center as well. Um, so you spend one day a week in clinic up there and then one day in the OR and it kind of rotates what you're doing uh, between you and your co-fellow. Uh, but it's just a really nice experience to kind of understand what life in a private practice might be like. And because most of us, when we finish our training in any field of ophthalmology, end up going private practice, but we never get really much experience in that while you're in training because you're always in an academic center. It's it's a unique experience and I think it really helps kind of show you what life would be like in the private practice world as you start to make your job decisions and your career decisions. Uh, everyone always asks about call, so I'll keep it short and sweet. You're on call about one week out of a month, um, assuming you have a co-fellow to kind of share those responsibilities with you are taking call for one of your attendings so they are kind of on backup for you but you function autonomously as the attending staffing the residents um, so any any open globe or other emergency surgery goes to you um, it's never that busy i never had an issue being able to go to my daytime clinic duties or OR duties. Um, it's actually really nice to get that autonomy when you do have an open globe or something to staff with the residents because it's just you and them. Um, you're making the decisions, you're the boss, and it's kind of a nice way to get your feet wet in that capacity. Um, you also get paid as long as this is still the case. Um, and so not a bad deal to get a few extra bucks in your pocket when you're taking call. Uh, we can talk more about that if anybody has any questions, you can contact me. The other way that you as a fellow get an autonomous experience and being able to spread your wings is staffing the residents at the county hospital. It's called Eskenazi. It's next door to Riley. Um, that's really unique as well, and I really enjoyed that because you staff their resident peds clinic uh, one afternoon a week, and then any cases that you generate from that clinic are also yours. So then you get to go to the OR with them and staff them in the OR. Um, of course, someone's always a phone call away if you need anything, but it's really a nice way to gain some autonomy. Um, gosh, there's so many more things I could tell you um, about why I loved IU and why I thought it was one of the best decisions in my life. But I'll just end by saying, you know, when you join the fellowship, uh, you are really joining the IU family. And it is so unique and steeped in tradition and um, something that you continue to use and to build upon throughout your career. Um, the fellowship alumni network is incredibly strong and active. They have a fellows meeting every year back in Indianapolis for, you know, everyone comes together. They share interesting cases, um, you know, give advice and feedback. Um, there's also a listserv via email through the APOS website that's just for IU alumni. So you can kind of keep it within the family if you have a question or need some advice about a surgery or a tough case. And then you get, you know, people um, from all over the country um, offering their advice and opinions and you know, especially as you're starting out in your career, there's people that have been there and done that and they can share that experience with you. And I think that's just so invaluable. It's just really nice to know you've got so many people on your team to help you. Um, congratulations on making what I think is the best decision of your life, which is to go into pediatric ophthalmology. It's the best. Um, 
IU, I think, is a wonderful program and a wonderful place to learn those skills. Uh, if you have any questions about it, want to know more logistics, um, just need to you know, learn a little bit more about it, I am more than happy to talk via email or via phone. Um, you can ask the staff of the fellowship to give you my information. And um, best of luck to you. And um, I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Thanks.